ad. Now, the business ad, right here I've got the specifications, eight and a half inches wide by 11 inches tall, full color. We need a quarter inch border because when we print this one, it's not gonna be full bleed, and I'll explain this in just a few minutes. And this will be due Tuesday, November 26th before 5 p.m. All right, so let's get into this. First off, let's go ahead and go to the create a new uh, document dialog box. I'm gonna name this one. All right, and I want one artboard. I want the width to be 8.5, the height to be 11. I don't need any bleed. I want it to be CMYK because I am going to be, um, my final destination is print. All right, I can go OK. And whenever I open it up just like this, uh, I get my blank artboard like we are used to. Now, what's going to help me on this is if I see my rulers so I can get those quarter inch borders like I was talking about earlier. Let me come over here and get this. And I'm going to put this off over here to the side. To get my rulers, I'm going to go to View, and it's right here, Rulers. Show Rulers. And you see right here, this is the zero, 0, up in this corner. And what I do to create my guides is all I do is I click on the ruler, and I bring it over, and there's my quarter of an inch. Now this is a non-printing item, so even though we can see it here, it's not going to print whenever we uh, either send it to a printer or if we hit print and go to our desktop printer. So I'm going and I'm just giving it a quarter inch border all the way around. That way I know exactly what my print area is right in here. All right. Now, if I want to use these guides, I can. And sometimes whenever you have guides, you can come in here and you can see that the grids and the guides are selectable. I'm going to come over here and let's go to, uh, if they're selectable, if you're selecting them and moving them or deleting them on accident, come over here and either lock them or unlock them, hide them. Uh, this is where that's going to be. It drives me crazy whenever I'm trying to select something. I'm also selecting my guides. So make sure that your guides are locked. Right? And if you have to change them, you just go into that same menu and you unlock them. So let's go ahead and get, uh, get working on this. One of the things that we will do in this ad is we're going to be using raster images. Here's an example of one. Here's another example of a project. And here's another example of a project. Okay, so think of a magazine ad. If we're making uh, this project, it's a magazine ad. So let's go ahead and work on that. So to make a magazine ad, nine times out of 10, we're gonna need a raster image to place in there. And here's how I do that. I'm gonna go to File. I'm gonna come down here to Place. And it's gonna bring up the place dialog box. I've got an image on the desktop that I want to place, so I'm going to go and place that. And here it is. Now I can use this image just like any other shape, but always scale it proportionally. Remember that, scale it proportionally. Alright, so if you're going to make it larger or smaller, do it proportionally. Push, push and hold shift when you do that. Okay. Now, if I want to make this kind of fancy, I'm going to put a clipping mask on this. And how you do that is I'm going to create a shape, and this could be any shape. I'm going to say a rounded rectangle here for this display. I am going to come over here and I'm going to center this, center that, and I'm going to, what I want to do is I want everything within this rectangle to be shown and everything outside of it not to be shown. So I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to go up here to Object, Clipping Mask, Make, 
and that's what it does. It clips it to that mask that I just created. Now the trick there is to make sure that the 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 object that you want to clip to the frame as I call it is on top so I've got my raster image on bottom and I've got my vector image or my vector shape on top so I'm going to select both of those object clipping mask make okay and that will clip it to the the boundaries that I want okay and you can do that with any shape let's go here and uh, let me show you another shape I'm not sure why anybody would do this, but I'm sure uh, people will. I'm not saying to you guys will, but here we go. I'm going to use that shape, object, path, um, I'm sorry, clipping mask, make, and it clips it to that path. Okay. All right. So let's move on to the next part. In these images or in these ads you're going to need to use text also. Now the text you use really I don't uh, I don't care really a whole lot about that. I'm not going to send you text or anything but remember if you're going to use text there's a couple ways to do it. There's you can click an insertion point and start typing forever like this or you can click and drag let me see here you can click and drag a shape and that will be the bounding box of your text. Okay, Either way, this will probably be helpful uh, on this ad, the, having the bounding box for your text. That will be very helpful. Now, if you're having problems resizing that, if you come in here, uh, if you want to make the text larger, select it and make the text larger or smaller by the point size. But if you come in here and you start dragging around, sometimes you'll get it to where it will squish the text instead of keeping it to that bounding box. Okay, so if you want the text larger or smaller, use the point size here in the character, um, the character control box. Another really neat thing to do I'm going to use some of this text is to type on a path. Say that I wanted, I'm going to say, I want my type to be around this shape here. I'm going to use the type on a path tool and I'm going to come over here and you can see how it changes here. I'm going to select that, hit paste, and now I can control this text however I want. I can make it larger. Let me see. Z. Make it larger. Now, to adjust where it is, this is kind of a fine tuning here. I've got this object selected, and I can see these control points here. I'm going to come over here and start moving these, and that will um, help me control where my text is placed. Okay, I'm going to make this text centered. Okay, so I'm going to come over here and try and find the center of this shape. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find some of these control points. There, so now I know that that's about centered right there. All right, so that's the type on a path tool. And you can use this, uh, again, like I said, on pretty much any shape, just like the clipping mask. Okay, well, that went inside. Let me see if I can get it right this time. Type on a path tool. Paste. See now, that is going to okay, it keeps on going. Okay. So there's a type on a path tool. Now between those tools, you'll be able to get everything that you need out of this. Um, remember to place an ad, or place an image, a raster image, is go to File, 
go to place and then it'll ask you which object you want to select to place it in there. You do that and it comes up. To do a clipping mask, uh, you just find the shape you want to clip to. And then you can clip to that shape. Go to object, uh, clipping mask, make. Okay. And that gives you the shape that you want. All right, now I'm gonna hit the, uh, use the direct selection tool, and I can come in here and move this picture within that frame that I created. It's still in that frame, but I'm moving it around in that frame, okay? And with the direct selection tool, I can come over here also and mess with that frame, okay? All right, so again, what we're doing this time is the business ad, eight and a half by 11, full color, quarter inch border, and I did that by creating this here. And let me, let me reiterate this, I didn't clarify this. For this project, you can have no color, no design elements in this quarter inch border here, okay? Quarter inch border means that this is the image area and you can only have artwork inside of this area here. This quarter inch border needs to say white. No color can be in this quarter inch border, okay? Usually in graphic design there are no wrong answers, but when you're setting up ads and you're getting to the printer, there are definitely wrong answers. So you have to have the page size correct, eight and a half by 11. It has to be eight and a half wide by 11 tall. There has to be a quarter inch border there cannot be any artwork or design elements in this quarter inch border at all. All right, if you have any questions, please send me an email. Get on the discussion forums. I get on there and I kind of peruse them uh, often. Uh, it's been a pleasure. I hope to see what you guys have come up with. Everything's looking great so far. You guys have a good evening and I'll see you next time.